Alright, fools, I'm returning to the site of the secret project that I can't tell you what it is. Coming right up, coming right Ah! Unless, of course, that happens. Let's see, so I did a bit more scaffolding off camera. I hope you guys don't mind. Uh, sarcasm. Oh, look! I found Dark Oak! It's just down here, in case you need some. Um, talking to Caffeine, who was back at High Rock. Just going to experiment with putting in rural houses outside the city gates. Anyways, um, scaffolding. There's more of it. We're going to continue to work on that today. Today, I will spare you the scaffolding, and where the hell is it? Hello? It's got to be around here somewhere. This is confusing. You don't usually see that stuff. I must have taken a wrong turn. Uh... I don't get started on the structure, it's just, given the nature of the structure, it's not going to be intelligible, I don't think, by the time I'm done with the episode, so I hope you guys will just bear with me on that stuff. Here we go, what's down here? So I extended the the spine of the scaffolding for the almost the entire length, this one, this one spot where, obviously you can see it would go into the hillside, and I didn't do that, but here we go. I extended it a fair bit. I think we... I, I, I had the second level scaffolding already in place for you guys last time. But uh, it proceeds onward. And the spine goes all the way to the front, which ends right there. So you can see it's a rather large project. Can I see from beginning to end from here? Oh, yes, I can! Just barely see from beginning to end of the whole project. That's, that's a good thing. I mean... Uh, Oh, the next version of Minecraft, the uh, 8, I can't remember anymore, um, 1.8, yeah, that's what it is, uh, you probably would be able to see further, but we're stuck on uh, 1.7 and will be for the entirety of Deneb Season 3, and there hasn't really been any momentum, people hardly play this season at all, so odds are that there'll be another one is, I have no idea, it won't be any time soon, and it doesn't matter because this game's good enough. Alright, what the hell's going on? Anyways, uh, credits, right? There's the last of those maps. Let me put this back up on the scaff. <clears throat> well, on the little display case over here. Ah, so one of the things I'm gonna have to do right away is figure out some color schemes based on the materials that are locally available. And unfortunately, the color scheme is going to be limited because of what this eventually is going to be. So here's the. Here it is from beginning to end. This is one end. This is the other. This is the. I'm not sure which was the front or not. It doesn't seem like it would be that hard to extend scaffolding all the way, considering what I've already done, but the thing is going to be two stories high before it starts, as you can see over here. And the second story isn't quite as tall as the first, but still, this is the underpinnings. This is These are just big pylons to hold up the, the first piece of the construction, and when it's done, they'll be removed. Um, so, gosh, you know, I don't know. The, unfortunately, the, the dead forest is not a short, it's a short walk, except when you make it ten times, then it feels really long. Uh, I did bore a hole all the way down. There's some magma down there. I'm going to actually make myself, uh, it's around the corner, actually, make myself an ender chest in a moment here, as soon as I gather the supplies. I don't know that that will really help me, but it won't hurt either. And I made the maps. Ooh, I got a purely cosmetics, but I got a pile of more dead wood going here. I actually have more still in the chest. <clears throat> Alright, since I'm only ever going to use any of these, a couple of these really, I'm going to go ahead and make, sacrifice a little bit from each one to make slabs so that I can experiment with them without having to go back to cobble and re-burn them, you know what I mean? 
So let's make a bunch. Experiment. I'm going to need sort of... I don't know, sophisticated looking, solid, almost metallic uh, textures. Not specifically, but in that vein of... Vein of thing. Let's see. Did I get everything? I should probably pull that out, put that somewhere else. Actually, that too. And these. Put them somewhere else. Doesn't matter. For now, let's head on up. I've made a couple more pylons for you. I did not extend the scaffolding. I probably will have to, but at least at least the pylons are all in and they can hold the first room, which I think is the single largest room in the entire construction, which is more or less why I'm starting here. Uh, crap. Rain. I like rain, but... I don't know. I don't know. Let's, uh... Let's experiment for a moment. Just... Maybe... I don't care about if it's up here or not. Get rid of all this stuff. Don't need any of it right now. Let's see. Go from dark to light. Actually, it's strange, but... It seems like the nether stuff is darker. It's kind of strange. Uh, overthinking this just a little bit. Close enough. Hmm. Let's do this in threads. I just find out. Now I'm already more inclined to the Gabbro. Because it's got a smooth texture. The bricky texture I don't think is going to work in this scenario for any of these colors. So that's a thing to consider. Blue is a little... It's, it's not a deep blue, but then again it's nighttime, so I could be mistaken about that. But the pale blue is not so bad. And the, the modelings, the mottled texture here, is probably could be used to describe wear and tear, I suppose. Uh, which is not so bad, because I don't know about the brown. I mean, I like it, but I'm not sure if it's appropriate to this. So I'm going to stew on these for a little bit and figure out which of them is going to be appropriate for general, high-volume construction material. Because uh, whatever I choose, there's going to be a lot of it. These are the textures I just put down. I realized also I should probably have been putting down some of the non- some of the sedimentary material. White's okay. Is that limestone? <clears throat> I think the limestone's okay. These two are too noisy as in a generality. That one's too noisy. This one's too dark. This one's okay. That one's okay. That one's okay. I think this one's a little too noisy. I think what I'm gonna do... I'm going to use this one because the grain follows the direction of the project, whereas this one follows, goes against it. It's a more subtle grain. I might still use this, but I think much of the construction is going to be made out of this. So let's review, because I forgot what that was. It's probably andesite, but it might be soapstone. If it's soapstone, I, I can source the stuff pretty easily. I know there's a lot of soapstone. Uh, let's see. Oh, good. It came back. So which one was it? Soapstone! Alright, we will be using soapstone, fools. We will be using lots of soapstone. Oh, by the way, uh, waiting for the sun to come back up, I put up the rest of the scaffolding. Hmm. Alright, alright. Uh, let me gather some supplies and uh, begin. Okay, I started the process of building the, f the construction. I'm going to say it's not going to be as flat as this when it's done, but I have to get a baseline going here first and it's going to involve a lot of this floor material Ooh, let's see and I'm getting up and down from that it's going to be a little tricky actually hmm. now, this is going to be outside so that should be able to do it this it came out two three four from what is what I've been calling Mark 11 here. This is the 11th mark. Uh, it comes out four to either side. I'm going to go all the way across actually first. 
I know this isn't exactly supported by the pylons that you know I've spent all this time putting in here, but first things first is getting our measurements done, and this is going to be an important step to doing that. Okay, and now one, two, three. There are going to be four of these before there's a slight indent. It will go like so it was like three, one, two, and then like that. And then it continues for another four, which I can't actually do anything about at the moment. So, oh, you know what? I think this is the wrong, this is wrong. I, I it's inverted. Oh, see, that's what I was afraid of was that I would, all of that would happen. Get this back. My lovely stepping st oak. This is going to be outside, and actually, that doesn't help. <laughs> Dang it. Hmm. Stink. All right. Apologies. The It was supposed to be bowed out at that point, not inward. I was working from the outside of the construct mentally, and that was all wrong at least now we're getting oops I've already run out oh I got a little bit more good um, granted a lot of this will probably change in the future oh I thought I'd get kicked from the server there's a little slight bug that sometimes kicks you from the server when you do that but at least now it's starting to be supported out here I, I yeah I don't know I'll keep working on it how many people can you think of who do construction work What's there? Uh, oh, those people. Um, construction work in flippers. Huh? I do it in flippers. Do you do it in flippers? Um, yeah, I've been moving the scaffolding. Not scaffolding, but the, the walk paths. Just because they have been incompatible with the underside of the construction. I'll be continuing to do this for a few minutes more, I assume. Uh, I wish I could make this happen on demand. Never does. Always when I don't want it to happen. And of course that falls. Damn it. Hmm. Doesn't look like a whole lot just yet. Is there any indication that it's correct? It's kind of hard to tell. Unfortunately, whoever wrote the Underground Biomes mod with the new textures didn't put in alternate colors for them when rep as represented by the map maybe the game won't allow him or her to do that but I as generally assume they just didn't do it and so as a result there's no texture difference between this and this on the map same thing to be said for all these purple plants and whatnot they don't show up on the maps which is kind of unfortunate and I've also run out of base salt or was that gabbro that's, uh, that's Gabbro. So I'm going to have to find some more. Soapstone is running a bit low, but not quite yet. Unfortunately, I need more of this before I can place any more of the uh, that, <laughs> for lack of any words whatsoever. Died again. Falling out of my stupid ship because sometimes it randomly decides not to give me a parachute. I don't know why. Drives me nuts. Uh, the rest of it's still up here, huh? Oh, I'm gonna have to knock down the tree to get it. Well, no, I am actually maybe. Here we go. All right, Goram it. Oh, I can say, Gabbro is not the most common resource I am aware of. Let's see. I went correctly far this time. I need to do the same thing over here. As yes, you can see, this room is going to be kind of big when it's done. It's quite hard doing these slabs without falling, actually. Mm -hmm. Go as far as this, and then the outside wall. I might actually use some bricked versions of these to introduce some seams in places, but I'm not sure how often I want to do that. So I don't want a bricky. F I don't want a bricky feeling to it. I want a solid or plated feeling, which means maybe I should be using stone in spots. I'm also thinking because of because Gabbro is going to be hard to come by I should probably break this room up with multiple textures on the floor. Anyways, I'm going to flesh out the rest of the shell here. So one, two, I need two sets, two more sets of two. 
This is always a little tricky. Like so. So how you all out there, how you all doing, huh? See, I can't, oh, hey, let me do it. That's amazing, okay. I didn't think it would. All right, and here we go straight across. The only problem is I don't know how straight across to go. Pretty sure though I can extend these all the way back. One. Ooh, it's always a little more difficult with slabs. Hmm. I've been writing music late. Well, not writing, designing music. I suppose you could say lately. I can do this uh, largely with the intent to use with the, the Dwarf Fortress series, uh, but that doesn't mean some of, actually one actual piece of music as opposed to just ambient music uh, made it into an episode of this not too very long ago I don't remember much more though um, details of the episode or whatever but it's something I've been working on musics I'm not any good at it but it's coming out okay anyways that's part of the problem though is it's like GarageBand makes it a little too easy really and that I don't like if it's too easy you don't this no, what's the word? It doesn't feel like you've accomplished anything. It's just not worthwhile if it was too easy. You know what I mean? I don't know what I mean. Okay, so I have opted to include multiple textures in the floor. I'm a little hesitant to do too much of this just because I don't know how much of this floor will remain intact. Regardless, it helps flush it out and actually basalt is available nearby. Let's take a look at the map real quick and see how that has updated. Oh good, I caught it this time. No, it doesn't always happen. Uh, it's definitely coming together and it looks good to me. It's this right shape, it's the right size. Uh, I don't recall now if I've said it already, but that's definitely the largest single room in the entire construct, so that's okay. That's okay. I don't know what I'm gonna do in the middle case here. I don't wanna be too varied. I also don't know, there's probably going to be some room, small rooms and access panels and stuff underneath this. So it will not be as flat, oh good I landed in the water, it will not be this flat when the whole thing is done. It's absolutely not going to be that flat. Alright, I'm going to start another set of rooms here just to continue laying out the overall structure. I put down a couple of more pylons. And it occurs to me I need to know a particular thing. And it's a little hard to read the individual pixels in this drawing now. But I'm going to temporarily uh, use something different. One. Yes, I ended up with bricks somehow. I'm not sure how that happened. Oh, gosh. This is going to end too short of that. So let's... I'm going to use komatiite, which I, I'm not even sure exactly what komatiite is. One, two, three, four. And then this one here is another one of these. So we'll do this. I might yank these out later, but I do like the idea of using a different colored texture for this because this is a room that in the future is going to have to do with security, like, um, it takes work to pass through this room. You have to you have to meet certain specifications, sort of like a guardhouse sort of thing. The walls continue this way, like so, and there will be a couple more rooms to either side, which is why their pylons are still appropriate. All right, so I just did this on the other side. I'm going to do it again over here. I decided, you know, I wasn't exactly restricted to using just uh, non-sedimentary stone for this, so I'm using this. This looks almost like carpet to me, frankly. That's not entirely inappropriate. Uh, let's see, it goes up as far as here, and then like this. And then from here, we have to put in more wall. Is that right? <gasps> oh, jeez. I think I'm almost out of soap. Well, not out of soapstone, but on my person. Yeah, I'm running low on soapstone. But we got little security corridors that run down the side. I 
don't recall. They go as far as this, actually, on both sides. So a couple more here, and here, and here, and as far as here. Dip, dip. Okay, it's looking pretty good. One to put up <clears throat> outer wall here. Ah, that's not the way to do it, though. Let's go up here. Very good. And like so. And reclaim this in a form I wish I didn't have to. And let's see, we got it good. So, sort of a, a cell here. Corridor for here. You know, like a bottleneck in case of defenses. <clears throat> storage area here, I think. Storage area here. And then the mirror image on this side. So you can see the whole thing is going to be bilateral in symmetry. And go off in that direction. I'll say, what else, what else, what else, what else? What else is a little thing? I don't know what it... Ah, no. Did I do that on the other side? Did I do that on the other side? I did not. It's part of how the further structure continues off in that direction. So you can see there is scaffolding out here, and that's because there are going to be things. Oh! Anyways, um, let's take a look at the map real quick. It's been a while since I've record, uh, added up how much these clips add up. You know, redundant. But, uh, yeah, let's take a look at the map. Look at the map. Look at the map. Oh, good, I caught it. Update, please. So that's a little more solid looking. The whole thing will be solid looking when it's done. So, yeah, uh, let's see. There's going to be bits, a room here. And, of course, it's a mirror image over here, room here. And I think there's another narrow room that goes along the side here on each side. That's going to interrupt this walkway. So that's gonna. I'll have to redesign the scaffolding a little bit. Mm. What else? I still have to decide on how to fill this area up. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Not to worry. Oh man, I've been looking for a while. I know there's basalt around here somewhere, but I'm. No, that's not it. I can't seem to find it anywhere. Oh, um, that's it right there. Gosh dang it make sure oh I don't have room yep dang it it was right here the whole time oh my gosh well well I got a couple levels of experience anyways all right what do you guys think about introducing some texture here is that bad I don't think it's bad I think I prefer that to changing the color again Coming right along, gonna go with basalt mostly because there seems to be plenty nearby. Let's see. But I am using these bits of texture to help break it up a little bit. I did not fill that one in over there, but I will, so why don't start here? Yeah, so progress is progress is progress, and I'm probably going to call the episode here because. I do need to do that eventually, and then edit, and then go play Dragon Age Inquisition, maybe have dinner. Uh, we've been watching... Oh, there you... Thank you. Um, West Wing. Very cool. So, you know, all these things I should be doing, including, also, recording Dwarf Fortress and falling. Oh, good. I did not fall as far as I could have. Yay for scaffolding! All right, so... Yeah, uh, I don't know what else to say about that. So thanks for watching. Ooh. Thanks for coming again next time. And until then, I expect great things from you. See you later. This is a Goram test of testing sake and let's make uh, noises somehow. There we go.